Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk uh, about this sort of media speculation about Joe Burrow. Um, the Super Bowl is over, spring training has just started, NBA and NHL are kind of in the middle of the season, so this is really a black hole in the sports calendar. And from the moment that uh, the season ended, I knew this was gonna happen. Um, there's not much to talk about. We're still a ways to go from the draft, so people got to say stuff just to try to keep things interesting. I, I I understand. I get it. I understand how this works. Sports is covered 24/7. NFL is dominant. NFL is king, and you, you got to keep the the meter moving. You know that that's what they that's their thought process. So, you know, God forbid you 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 know put the NFL on the back burner for a little bit because right now there's nothing going on. So what's there really to talk about? But with that said. Uh, some of the national media pundits, guys like Dan Patrick and Con Calhoun and others, are trying to suggest that Joe Burrow doesn't want to play in Cincinnati, shouldn't play in Cincinnati. Uh, you know, he should pull an Eli Manning and hold out. And you know, people are trying to read into body language. You know, it's just it's ridiculous. Um, I think Joe Burrow has no issues with coming to Cincinnati. He, he hasn't said anything to the contrary. I think it's a move the Bengals are going to make. And Yes, the Bengals have had their problems. Yes, Mike Brown's a pro owner. They have won a playoff game since 1990. But if you look at the teams in the league and sort of season by season um, and how they fared, uh, you know, the Bengals making the playoffs five out of the past ten years is, a be is better than a lot of the teams in the league. And, you know, they've had above-average quarterback play for, you know, going on two decades. So while they have their problems... I don't think it's the graveyard that the national media would like for you to believe that it is. So uh, I think it's a better place to play than Miami or, or Washington, you know, or, you know, Cleveland. Uh, yeah, so um, I just, I don't understand what, you know, why they're coming up with these talking points. Uh, the Bengals have usually had good skill players. They've had pretty decent quarterback play. Um, you know, even with the team going into the next season of Joe Mixon, Tyler Boyd, uh, perhaps A.J. Green. So there's talented skill players. So I'm not really understanding the narrative. Um, I, I just, you know, there's going to be more of it to come. And I'm, myself and others, we're getting pretty tired of it. Um, I think Joe Burrow has no problems playing in Cincinnati. And I think it's what's going to happen. So anyway, I want to give my two cents, uh, my thoughts about that. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.